Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and another Monday plan with me. So I'm planning from September 25th through to October 1st and the kit that I'm using is from Project Plan and it's called Girls Night In. This kit is really pretty, it's really pastely and I love the marble in the kit as well. But I'm going to leave the link down to her Etsy shop below so you guys will be able to go and check out her shop because she always has really pretty kits. So I'm going to start with the washi as I always do and I'm going to put this across the whole top. I'm just going to trim off what is left with my scissors. I decided to leave the bottom plain because it's just got a few little dots on there so I think it's going to go with the kit okay. And then as I found my hobby craft card finally I'm just cutting down the washi so it's in line with all the ends of my boxes just because in my opinion it looks a little bit neater. Then I'm going to go ahead and put all of the date covers along the top and then go in day by day. So for Monday I'm starting with a today header and then putting down a half box with a little page flag just so I can remind myself that I wanted to upload this plan with me in the morning but I can already see this is going to be going up late because I've had a stressful morning. <laughs> Underneath I'm just going to put a quarter box down. I love the quarter boxes in this kit because they are all patterned and they just look really pretty so really love those and that is just to um, remind myself that I needed to print out all of my children's homework that they've got to do for the entire week so it's all ready to go on Monday night and we can get as much done as we can. And then I'll just put down my to-do header before putting down the little planner icon because it kind of looks like their school planners that they use for their homework. I used this floral full box to block off a chunk of time because I wanted to work on my Etsy shop so I ended up using the two headers that come with the kit, one says Etsy and one says work so I just split them up and then in the middle I put one of my larger happy poppets because I'm always happy when I'm working on my Etsy shop. I also needed to do a little bit of organising and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do it, whether I was going to do it on a checkbox or not, but I decided to use another quarter box because I really like them and I just needed to organise all of my files. Then I moved on and put my little things header down and was starting to put my TV programmes down and then I suddenly realised I actually needed to leave a chunk of time and make sure that I've got enough time to help my son go over his homework which was the German alphabet because he is taking French and German at schools and we needed to go over the German alphabet so I had to remind myself that I needed to do that so I just put a little poppet down just so my eyes would go down to that poppet and I would see oh German alphabet because you know I overlook things in my planner sometimes even though I try to be very organized <laughs> and then at the bottom I just put my two TV programs down which was Teen Mum and Scandal. For Tuesday I put down a today header and then a quarter box because I'm actually going up to the city I need to go stationary shopping which you know I'm kind of happy about because I love stationary shopping. I kind of wish we had a Michaels over here the things that I see all of my friends like on Facebook and other places that I speak to you and you're from America and you're like oh yeah we got this from Michaels and I'm like I wish we had a Michaels over here so I'm going to be going up to the city shopping and there's a few things I need to pick up as well as stationary things so I put my heart checklist down and I will fill that out the night before I go up to the city I also need to do a food shop so I just put one of my little food shop icons which is from the home life poppet sheet as well as the water plants because I struggle keeping plants alive, I'm not going to lie, I can keep humans alive, I've managed to keep three tiny humans alive, but when it comes to plants, they just die on me, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, so I needed to remind myself to actually water the plants, that could be a good start. Underneath I put the full box down which has the marble background and the candle, I love this one, and then I put the um, little things header and two TV programs that I had on which was Scandal and Deadliest Catch. For Wednesday it's actually my cousin's birthday so I started with a today header and then put a piece of washi down and another half box which I flipped up onto its side so I could write my cousin's birthday down and then I finished it off with a little poppet from the birthday sheet. Underneath I put down my to do header and then a pink heart checklist to write down things that I wanted to do on the Wednesday afternoon and then I took my page out of my planner because it gets a bit tricky to write with the coil there so I just took that out to fill in my checklist and I also needed to do some laundry as well so I just wrote that down at the end and then put one of the laundry poppets from the home life sheet. Next I put down a pink floral full box 
And then on top of that, I just put a quarter box and write down that my daughter is going on to a trip. So I just put one of the little travel poppets from the travel sheet, which are my newest ones, I believe. And on the sheet as well also comes a flight tracker and a little car tracker. So if you're going on a car road trip, then it's the same thing as a flight tracker. It's just that it has a car on there and you can write when you're going and when you're coming back. Flipping over to the next half of the week, I'm just going to put the date covers along the top first and then I can carry on with the Thursday. And for Thursday, I'm putting down a today header and a half box, which I'm just gonna write down that I want to film my mock plan with me spread. And I used a little heart icon at the top as well. And then underneath I put two pieces of the plain pink washi with a half box that I just flipped up onto its side and wrote down that I needed to finish all of my new releases that were going to be coming out on Friday. Underneath I just put a plain piece of marble washi and then a heart checklist which I just chopped down to three hearts because I had three things that I wanted to work on which was my secret project, I needed to test print it and also I needed to do a load of print and cut as well. I also had to remind myself to get all of the swim kits ready so I just used the a appointment label, write down swim kits and used a swimming poppet from the swim timesheet. And then I went to put my little headers down and I forgot that I hadn't even used a full box and I really wanted to use one so I just used up the end of the space with my full box. For Friday I put down a today header and it's actually a payday so I took my freebie that comes out with everybody's orders as there's a little payday on there and she didn't have one in her kit so I used one of mine. And then also I have got a bill due so I took the home life sheet which has got some of these poppets holding the bills and I just wrote down that I've got a bill due. Friday's actually a really busy day because I need to edit and upload the mock plan with me that I would have filmed on the Thursday. It's also my new release day and lately I've been marking that with a movie marquee and she had one in her kit so I thought why break the string of me using them so I just use another movie marquee to write down new release. And it's also the day that I choose my giveaway winner for the Boo Crew kit. So if you would still like to be in a chance, there is time. So all you have to do is go to my Etsy shop, favorite my shop, and then I will be choosing a winner on Friday to receive a full Boo Crew kit and also a two page countdown to Halloween. Then I'll be choosing that on Friday and then posting it out on the Saturday. And to mark that, I just chose the marble full box and then a pink appointment label that I wrote giveaway on and obviously choose winner and then I put a little poppet holding a heart because I'm really excited to actually send you guys this kit. Underneath I put my little headers and I literally have teen mum on, that's it. So we're going to move on to Saturday. So for Saturday I just put the weekend banner down at the top and then I put two pieces of the really skinny washi that comes with the kit so you could block off some days if you're away for a few days you could use this to block that off but sometimes I just use it as deco so I used these two pieces and two pieces at the bottom and then put a half box in the middle because that's when my daughter comes home and then to mark that she's coming home and that I'm going to have a lot of things to unpack and she's probably just thrown it all into her suitcase I used another poppet from the travel sheet and it's the one sitting on the suitcase that's way over full because that will be her Underneath I put my to-do header and obviously that I needed to post the giveaway so I put a little pop it down with the love eyes. And then I took the full box with the planner on as it was kind of perfect because I wanted to film my plan with me. So I just wrote film plan with me on a appointment label and then I just stuck it well, underneath to start with and then I moved it to on top of the full box. Then for today I had a few more bills due so I used the other two little poppets holding the bills on the home life sheet and just wrote down the two bills that I've got due on the Saturday. And then for the Sunday I put down a today header and a half box because it actually marks the anniversary of, well it's not even an anniversary, it's been two years since my younger son had a really bad accident and was in hospital for a while and it was really horrible and horrible and horrible but I just was going to mark down that it's been two years and he's come such a long way. So I just put a little sad pop it down with the box of tissues because even though obviously I'm really happy that he's okay, it still makes me sad when I think back to it. Then I'm back to my usual to do's which is all things for school so I just wrote down everything onto a heart checklist. 
and then at the bottom there I just put a piece of washi to cover up the black line and one of my larger poppets from the swim sheets because it's got a little towel and a little towel on his head and he's so adorable but it's just to mark down that my children were having baths and I wanted to paint my nails and we were also going to make sure we have an early night ready for the Monday. So she had some plain and patterned little diamonds so I just used the marble patterned one to mark down for early night. So for the sidebar I just used two pieces of washi before putting down my full box which says good at naps on the little t-shirt and it's also got a little sleeping eye mask. Underneath I put my habit trackers, I'm using two this week so I just split them up with a piece of the marble washel washel I always have trouble when I get to my sidebar in saying washi one was for Instagram and one is just because I've got a new face wash that I want to make sure that I track and that I'm using it then I put my next week header along with my weekly box and just filled out everything that I know is happening next week and then to fill in the gap right at the bottom I used a piece of washi and my last full box then I just went and added added oh my goodness I'm so sorry I added the dates along the top and then here is everything that I have got left over after using this spread spread I am going to go now because clearly I cannot talk English today but here's a close-up of this week's spread I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more plan with me's and I will see you guys on Friday have a good week guys bye